Hi everyone, uh, now I want to show you a few things that I think will help you in the future when you want to create your own new eye makeup. So I'll tell you a little bit later, but now. Now I'm applying my Skin Light Foundation from Revlon and want to show you one more thing. So I've taken a sponge and I want to apply my powder. So I'm taking my loose powder from Gosh and apply it on my sponge, press it a little and apply it to my skin. What form do I need? Uh, for evening makeup, a long lasting, I do the thing. It's a little bit uh, it create more powder or matte color for the future and when you plan loose powder with your brush you apply it very light and you don't need to do very um, you don't need to push a lot of powder on your face but now I need to do it because I'm gonna to walk with my husband in the evening so I'm just applying a powder if you see that you Push too much powder, don't worry. A little bit later, we will remove it easily. You can see that my concealer have a little messy. I don't know how to say it. So what I'm taking and what I'm doing, I'm taking a powder and slightly remove it before I'm gonna powder it. And just then powder your under eyes on. And same with your other eye. And order it again. So it's very good if you using powder like a blood powder or like Creolan anti shine powder because your face will stay matte longer was this one so you can see I powder my face a little bit powder my eye Ooh. so what I'm gonna do next I'm taking my big fluffy brush and just with circle motion remove all powders and stay on a face and all powder which I didn't want to see on my face Oh, here we go. Just making my brows and applying a shadow base on my eyes and a little bit on my neck because my neck is very white with my face. So what things I want to tell you about? Today I watching lots of video from YouTube and see how people uh, very fast want to create a crease, very beautiful crease. Uh, and uh, uh, it looks very messy because with uh, some brush kind of this or this they want to create very beautiful crease because they're doing just la 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 and all and they don't receive any any good 
for myself as I think. So uh, today I decide to show you the second technique technique of eye makeup. It is called banan. It's funny but it's beautiful and uh, I just don't know what kind of maybe banana or maybe a corner to do it I wanted to do but it doesn't matter so today we're doing banana and today I'm gonna show you how uh, press brush how to create a beautiful line on your eyes I don't have uh, eye with um, or with um, eyelid or uh, I mean that because when I looking naturally and looking straight you see that you can see my lid and this technique uh, very good for people who have eyes like this when you can see the lids but for people uh, also it's difficultly for people who have Asian eyes with uh, absolutely no uh, dropped eye so I, I don't know how to tell it so I have also difficult eye and uh, I'm trying to show you how to draw it and it is a little bit difficult but if you try to do it you will receive the beautiful eyes so what from we can start you need first first of all you need a lot of brushes I'm gonna show you all that I'm gonna use and the second uh, I want to tell you that if you want to create a beautiful banana technique eye or beautiful banana on your eye uh, you have to spend it near one hour to two hour or more because sometimes it takes for me uh, near two hours and uh, when I'm sitting and just drawing, drawing, drawing a lot, 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 but the result is cost all the time that you spend for it. So, first of all, I'm applying my makeup uh, base, eye makeup base, and I feel that I need to add a white matte shadow all over my eye for good blending in the future remember one thing that if you want to create beautiful eye it's never spent for you 15 minutes it is never cost uh, low time for it mm, so of course you can do it fast if you uh, do it professionally I tell that when I, I can't do it fast but when I'm doing for myself or when I know that I have to do it very beautiful I spend a lot of time for it so first of all I'm applying white white shadow on my inner corner I'm doing it for my second color because it will be beautiful for the next color And by the way, if you want to get natural color of your shadow, oh, never put shadows like uh, like this. You always have to put. First of all, just tip it, just dot it, and when you want to mix it or blend it, just smudge it. So first color I'm applying. Next color I'm taking 239 brush from MAC and violet color from Atelier. I'm 
and apply to all my lid. 